Now I've just made five rollover buttons that we're going to export in Streamweaver to use as a side navigation bar. These buttons were made in Fireworks and uh, I put them into a folder called Buttons which I've just opened up. I'm going to make these buttons a little bit bigger. I'm going to right click View Extra Large Icons to display them side by side. Now as you can see they're side by side. The blue images, rollovers, represent the overstate. So when you roll over the image it's going to turn blue. The grey state is the upstate, the load up state, the current state it will appear on your website as. Now right click on the buttons uh, folder and rename it to images. And right click on the desktop, we're going to create a new folder for our site and we're going to call it side nav site. That's what I'm going to call it. If this is your website and you're making it, that's the folder for your website. So you want to call that something related to what your website is. Grab the images folder and place it inside the side nav site folder. Okay, we'll go back in Streamweaver. Now I'm going to quickly define a new site by going to site new site. Um, if you haven't already done this before, I've already done a previous tutorial on defining a website, so look that up. Now I'm currently defining the root folder for the site, so I'm going up to the desktop where we have that folder, side uh, nav site, and I'm going to click on that and define it. So that's gone through now by pressing select. Now the images folder, which is what's inside that site, I've just clicked on and selected that. Now we, uh, I'm not going to put in the HTTP address for the website, and we're going to leave caching enabled and click OK. OK, that's great. If you look into the files panel, you will see that all of the images have been placed inside that site and it's all been defined. OK, let's go to File New. We'll create a blank template, HTML template, and we'll go for a free column fixed header and footer, XHTML 1.0 transitional, press create. Now it wants to know where we're going to define our CSS, so we're going to create a new folder, CSS, and for the file name I'm going to open up the file folder and I'm going to call it main and click save. Right, let's just wait for that template to load and here it is. Okay, I'm just going to drag the screen out a little bit so you can see it a bit better and here's our sidebar now this is where we're going to put all of our rollover sidebar images and Dreamweaver makes this very easy to do now I'm going to click on the sidebar around the border now check out this line of code what this tells us um, is that we're in sidebar 1 which is what we've got selected because it's highlighted now sidebar 1 is inside a div called pound container which in turn is inside the body of the free column fixed header template which we just created. Now this is a really useful place to go if ever you're not sure where you are or you want to make sure you're adjusting the right CSS for the right div tag. Now I'm going to go to my CSS styles panel and select the sidebar um, CSS raw. Now I'm going to go down to the box category and I'm going to make the width 165 pixels for that particular div tag, sidebar 1. Uh, that's the same width as our rollover images. The height is going to be 0, we're going to leave it blank. Um, now the padding is set to all different types of padding. We're going to zero out the padding. So same for all and click zero and then apply. Watch what happens to the text. So by removing the padding, the text has gone to the left. Now I'm going to zero out the margins and click apply and then click OK. So when we go to put our images into sidebar 1, nothing will push them away from the edge. Now delete the text inside the sidebar. Oops, I've actually deleted the whole thing. So I'm going to go up to edit, undo, and it's back. Now delete the text. 